So it's been nothing acne here everyone, welcome back. So I'm getting ready to do my nails and testing out this new poly gel kit right here from Macard. This is their green nail extension and I thought you know what, it would be fun to do a video showing you guys how I use this kit right here and this is my first time trying this out. So if this is something you are interested in, then please keep on watching. Alright, full disclosure, I did not purchase this kit right here. I received this from a card to test out and try out and do a review for you guys. And I also recently became one of their affiliates. So if you guys want to use my code Simply Savon, you can save some money on your purchase. So let's go ahead and get to the video. So this kit right here came along with other products that my card sent me. But in this video, we're going to focus on this one right here. Here is what come in the green nail extension. So you got four tubes of poly gel right here. So the first one is clear and the rest are color. And then you got a bottle of the solution. And I also got a nail file that came with this. And we got a brush. And this is the dual ended brush one. So one side you got this little spoolie thing. And the other is you got the brush. And then there's two um, polish right here, one is base coat and one is top coat. And then underneath this you get the nail form right here. And we'll be using this nail form today. And then this is a little pamphlet that came with it. Just telling you how to use it so on and so forth so yeah so I went ahead and removed my previous gel extension and also I did um, treat my cuticle already so we're ready to go so we're going to go ahead and see which dual form fit my nails I'm going to try to keep the design very simple today because it is almost 10 p.m. and I'm getting sleepy but I want my nails to look nice for tomorrow so let's see which one fit my nails. So here are the ones that I'll be using today. Like I said, I would probably keep my design very simple. Let me zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see. So I have my LED lamp ready to go. Um, this one right here is quite old, I think. When I first started doing like gel polish, this is the one thing that Justin got for me for my Christmas, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and get some solution from this bottle right here. And just get some in my glass cup. I think this is good. Maybe a little bit more. Alright. So here right so I think I want to do an ombre of this two right here so do this 892 the lighter color right on the bottom part and then the 893 right up top so I have a like an ombre tip kind of so we'll use these two just to see and let me roughen up my nails a little I'm going to use the file that we got from the kit. Go and slightly roughen up my nails so the poly gel has something to grip onto. I don't want to over file this because I don't want to ruin my nails so I'm just going to lightly slightly file this. Just like so. And then I'm going to apply the base coat. So this is our base coat right here. I'm going to apply this and cure under my lamb. I'm going to do a full cure.
So I'm going to use the brush that came with the kit. So one side you get the picker right here and the other side you get the brush. So we'll use this to pick up our poly gel. So I'm going to use a dab of this. This one is $8.92. And I'm going to dip my brush in the slip solution and spread this one out. Alright, whoever made this look super easy, all the power to you because I am struggling. Alright, so I think that is good. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this on top of that this is the 893 more and just blend it in good Alright, so I think I did a pretty good job spreading this around. So we're going to put it on my nails. And I'm not pressing it down too hard. I just want it to just sit on my nails. I think like this is good. Now just need to make sure that it looks even and not crooked let's go ahead and cure this honestly guys I feel like people really make this look effortless it is a learning curve for me personally <laughs> I'm not used to it and I've done my nails a lot I just not very experienced with poly gel so I'm just going to wiggle it a few times I think it should just pop off did I do it wrong alright so I'm just going to pop this off okay definitely did not spread it evenly because you can see a little bubble right here so we'll go over that in a little bit but not too bad let me go ahead and do a little bit more color right here just on top of that just to see how it is because I don't like how my nail just showing right here and right here so let me do that real quick alright so I went back in and apply the lighter color a little bit more right down here and the darker color up here so it looks kind of ugly right now but let's go ahead and smooth this out so we'll have a nice smooth surface and then we can top coat this so let's go ahead and do that and to smooth it out I'm actually going to use my nail drill right here because I don't want to use the regular file I'm just going to make it nice and smooth. It's easier with a hand drill or nail drill like this than doing it just hand file. Obviously, if you do the nail form right the first time, you wouldn't even need to do this, but I didn't do it evenly, so that is why I need to do this. Just have to make sure it's smooth.
so I think it's pretty smooth so I'm gonna go ahead and shape this nails and file it down to the length that I like because this is hell too long for the coffin or you want to go for oval see what how I feel about today so I think this is the shape that I'm going for today just a little bit more of um kind of like an oval shape in a way so let's go ahead and top coat this first I'm going to wipe down my nails real quick Alright, where's the top coat? So we'll use this as the top coat. So we'll use this top coat right here. Alright, let's go ahead and let that cure. Alright, so here is after the cure. It looks pretty darn good, I must say. It does take a lot of work filing that down, you know, and try to get used to um, spreading the products around in the form, the nail forms, but the result looks pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my nails off camera, and I'll be right back to show you guys what my final nails look like and what's my final thought on them all right guys so here is the finished look it definitely looked really nice and i love how the ombre turned out but if i'm being honest i think this is a bit of a learning curve in my opinion it took me a while to finish up all my five fingers on my five nails and I think it's going to take me some time to get used to using the poly gel kit itself. But in terms of how it turned out, I think it looks great. And you can't even tell, it looks like I'm wearing either like a gel extension or a full press on or fake tips or whatever. I really like how it turned out. And I'm going to keep using this so I can get used to it. In terms of the shine itself, it looks really nice and shiny. So yeah. I do like this but again it takes a little bit longer and a little bit of a learning curve for sure for me personally so so far I'm going to keep wearing this and see how long it lasts hopefully it lasts for at least two weeks but yep this is the end result guys so if you have tried the poly gels I want to know what your opinion on them and is there a like a better brand for poly gel but I think McCart did a really good job in terms of the hybrid between gel and acrylic I will keep using this and let you guys know whether my opinion changed from this um, initial review but so far I do like how my nails turn out so thank you so much for watching this video till the end guys if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up of course and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at simply Savan and I shall see you in my next video bye